this is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today there's a beautiful mess on my desk <laughs> because I started crafting and I stopped myself because I thought maybe it'd be nice to craft together. And so just to give you a little story of what I'm doing right now, um, I'm trying to make something for my mom. It, her birthday is coming up and I want it to be something about her as a little girl but then I got another idea and I thought how about her lineage I think you you say in English meaning um, her myself and her grandchild because we're the only bloodline that she has so I thought so this is uh, this model I've shown you how to do it in another video um, I don't remember what it's called but it's in the most recent ones and so today I want to add elements, but before that, I will show you what my whole idea is. Um, so this thing that I've made, and I've showed you how, I've showed you how to do this little thing here. Very cute, very easy. And this folds this way. And so that's her date of birth. And then I made a second one that I will put back to back like that. And I will glue it, but not the top, so I can, it, it can allow to pull a, another, you know, a big tag of some sort, of, a big journaling card, if you will. And then when you open it, there's a translucent, you know, a pocket, a clear pocket here, a window pocket. Oh my God, I can't speak. Send help. Uh, <laughs> so this and then uh, probably a picture of me as a baby maybe another one here of me and this is my boy's date of birth and then there'll be pictures of him and then maybe pictures of the three of us so it's like everybody's holding everybody in each other's arms you know what I mean because the way this closes over this I just loved it right and then it's attached to this one and I think it's really lovely um, just a little side note, um, yes, I know it's date of birth on there, but, um, I don't worry because in any places where they ask for passwords and, and my mom's name and such, I never give that information. I create passwords in another way, which is something I wanted to tell you when you want to create password, don't use date of births and, and where you were born and your parents' name. Choose any of all the other questions they give you for password recovery and such because it's so easy now with Facebook. Everybody can get anybody's information. Um, so, yeah, just, just be careful about that. That's why I'm not worried about showing you my date of birth. First of all, it's not a secret. It's on Facebook and I never, ever use it as a reference, um, as a recovery, you know, information. Nor do I ever use my mom's name or my child's name. Nothing like that. Nothing personal for password recovery questions really random things <laughs> so um so i'll put this away because now i'm trying to work on the inside so so far i made uh, this little thing that flips out and then you see a picture which is a you know a journaling card for her um and then that's a pocket with a journaling card as well that i made for her and uh, there's videos for all of these and a little pocket made with a tea bag right here and little ephemera pieces that you can write on um and i added these drilling pages right here so this is my own paper that i made it's in my etsy collection and yeah so and i wrote her name there and i'm thinking of what am i going to put in there so at first I thought maybe I would put, I would make a little tag with one of her pictures for here. But when I open it, I want something sweet here. So I think I will not put a tag with a picture of her. I want to put a picture of her. And I think that one of the sweetest pictures I have right now is this one. This is adorable. There's another one I want to put in there. Um, let me find it. Where is it? So I had it a few minutes ago. Uh, where is it? Oh my goodness. It's a picture of her at her first communion, you call. Um, anyways, I can't find it, but it's really lovely. So I'm thinking I want to do something very sweet. 
for this picture. And then I'll put another one there. And there's another one she gave me that I will put down here. And I think the pockets I will fill with things that she, she can journal in or a nice little tag with a beautiful word, something like that. But this, this is precious. So let me, okay, so this is mine. I will put everything away like this. Okay. I thought I really, it really annoys me that I can't find the picture. Oh my goodness. Okay, I found it. There you go. And look at that. Look at the big veil and everything. Oh my goodness, did they ever go all in at that at that time, right? <laughs> I will round the corner of this picture as well. There's another one she sent me. I have to find it and print it out. And try and see what I can do with it. Okay, so I will ink the edges of this while I think of what to do. Um, I want to enhance it so that it's even more beautiful, you know? Because these were just printed on my printer from a picture she took of a picture so bear with me <laughs> with the quality i mean you know but it, it's okay it adds to the whole vintage so i think we will put these in something sweet just have to figure out what I love that black suit. Oh my goodness, it's one of my go-tos now. Okay. Okay, so I went through my stuff and I want to make this picture even more beautiful, like really showcase it. And I love this. I don't I don't know what it's called, but it's from Taper Logic and I want to incorporate some of it. And you know, like build up build something so first I gotta make sure I don't ex you know go over the width of this oh yeah no I won't I have plenty of space okay perfect okay so I thought this together would look really good and now I'm trying to see what else I have all these things um, I have a die cut now to do this so that's pretty nice no, that's too white hmm I don't know that's not bad I, I'm just trying things here that's how you you know you create right you have to try oh I have other ones that are not like plain plain oh and not as dark well almost just I'm all thumbs, I can't take it out. But see, I don't like it as much for some reason. I like that it's not plain for other projects, but I don't think it fits this. Ooh, one I made with a book page. Oh, but it's small. No. Okay, what else do I have? And does it have to be a film strip? Oh, this one is not completely beige. It has a tiny bit of writing. Maybe if I put the writing on the inside, it'll look good. Um... Hmm. I don't hate this at all. I don't dislike it. I know this should be a picture frame on its own, right? To just cut it and make it look like a, an old picture. But this is not what this is not what I'm doing right now. I'm not trying to make this into a little tag, but it would be a great idea, right? You put two and you make you make it so that it you know it becomes the element itself. I'm just using this as decoration to make a picture even more I don't want to say interesting because the picture is already interesting on its own it's very cute but you know what I mean um okay I like this I think I like this one I think I will use it I also this is too small um, that's strange this one has like no could be the back okay what else what else let me see i have these oval frames oh look how lovely she looks but it doesn't fit what i'm trying to do so no um anything else i want to try while i'm in here no i think for this project i also have the die cut for this frame but this one is way too colorful 
it's cute but it's too colorful maybe you don't see it well on camera but i i don't i don't like it i'll make it i'll make those again in a different color um and this one that's not bad but i think i prefer this one so i'm gonna stick to that one so see now we're just building we're just trying to you know build something um i have delicate things here too so okay you know what let's start building and gluing i will at least cut this because this this is too big and another trick as well is i don't have a whole lot of this and i don't see why i should waste all of this in the back so what i try and do is i really just cut what i think i will need so in this case, actually, let's glue these two things together because I know they will they will go together. So instead of me always trying to hold everything, I will just put a strip of, strip of glue. I even dislike hiding this because this is pretty, but okay. This and like that. Perfect. Now... I think the camera's too close. I apologize. I didn't realize up until now. Uh, oh, wait now. How did I have it two minutes ago? I had it like this, didn't I? Ah. And then I tried. No, okay. I want it this way. So, I, I will go in the back here. And I will cut just enough to glue it on the side. That way I'm saving this whole square here that, you know, would be wasted. And because this is, this is not regular, you know, paper. As you can see, it's very, uh, wait now. Yeah. There. So now I saved all of this and... This is precious to me because I can use it to make tiny little elements, dingly dangly dangles that have a little little thing on the corner coming out. Like this can be very useful, and that way I don't waste any of it. So now I will glue this. Uh, wait, now was it this way? Yeah, this way. There you go. Oh yes, perfect. So let's do that because I know that's what I want. I think for this I will use both double-sided and glue. So double-sided just for the first, you know, part, if you will, of the gluing. I hope everything, everybody's doing well. I don't know if it's summer where you are, depending on where you're watching me from. I have been trying, trying is the operative word here, to learn Korean. The reason is I am madly in love with the Korean series, the K-dramas they call them. Oh my goodness. I can't get enough of them. I cannot start naming how many I have watched so far. But if by some miracle you're in South Korea and you've just uh, decided to look at my channel, um... Oops, okay. I will say, Annyeonghaseyo, and for watching, Gamsamnida, which is hello, the first one, and the second one is thank you for watching. Um, so I am trying to learn. I love it. I find that it's such a beautiful language. Oh my goodness. It's really, oh, I love the, the a lot of the words end with A ah and O, oh, which reminds me a lot of you know Italian and Spanish and I don't know there's something I just love it I really really love it oh look how sweet this is it's little details like that when you build a piece take your time have fun you're just creating see there's flowers here I'm thinking no no it doesn't fit oh this says love that is cute I made some I got some free and I'm oh this one look see in Marguerite um how do you say Marguerite Daisy 
but no doesn't fit with that what else do we have i made a few like i said i made this i made that black one is pretty but i don't think it fits that's more flowers no no okay i think love would be nice if i had the word in french i would put it but i don't i don't have the seal in french to say amour um i have this one i think love is just cute okay and i really do like this too i don't know if there's any space to add it or any reason now i don't think so sometimes you gotta let it go too right <laughs> let it go let it go um yeah i will glue this right there i like it so yeah i'm um, trying to learn korean with an app very popular app um on my phone and they teach you the alphabet well oh my goodness like i can now recognize things like i'll see something written in korean and i'll be able to read I, except it's a let uh, you know unless it's a letter i haven't learned yet or a consonant i can't remember but other than that if it's you know I, most of it i can kind of read it but i don't know what i'm reading <laughs> because i haven't learned any you know what hold on so you can glue it here but you could glue it like that i like to have things that are not completely centered i find that it adds way more um interest from a artistic point of view let me just glue this properly i hadn't put glue yeah um so yeah i can figure out you know how to read but i don't know what i'm reading because yeah i'm not at the vocabulary stage actually it's not true i am now i won't glue this until i glue on the page i am actually learning some vocabulary because right now um on the app that's where i'm at okay so should i put it here oh that's lovely or here no i think here it's the best so there it goes so i'm learning a few vocabulary but the thing is is i don't remember the words like when i'm on the app it's always i always get a hundred percent right it's like oh yeah success ta -da, ta -da. But if you ask me to say, um, like, how do you say milk right now? Can't remember. Cannot remember. And it's one of the words I learned. So, but it's just like 30 ish minutes a day. Sometimes, you know, 20 if I don't have time. So it'll take me a while. It's just for fun um, because I watch my series in Korean with subtitle. Most of the time, simply because the English version was not available. But now, even when it is available, I don't want to watch it. I, I find it difficult. Now I want to hear the real voice and I feel better about reading. Isn't that strange? I never thought that would happen. Now I'm wondering if it would look better if I put a paper in the back like this. So it would pop more. I find that she disappears. You know, because Tim Holtz paper is absolutely scrumptious. But I'm thinking for this, um, the other one was too yellow. This is more beigey. Oh, yeah, and I could darken the edge, you know. I have this or, or this, this paper here. Let me see. Oh, I like how it's ripped. I think I'm going to go with that. Where is my ruler? Let me rip some of this. Okay. Oops. There. And it's a tiny bit too long. I'm going to try this one. Now it might be too short. I didn't. I was a little too uh, free with the ruler here. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I like that it's like that, actually. But I am thinking of something. Oh, my goodness, yes. The background. Like, I usually don't like to hide Tim Holtz papers because, again, scrumptious. But in this case, I think it's necessary. So let me take my little brush. 
and my black soot and I'm going to darken the edges now the problem is I already put this paper and I really don't want to dirty it I'm just gonna have to be very careful I think there I think this will be beautiful you'll see you'll see what I mean I could have also just painted it with my intense my black intense um, I mean but I don't like the idea of adding the water although this is you know very thick cardstock it would have been fine then I'd have to wait for it to dry um, intense for those of you who don't know it's just like watercolor pencils um, the difference is once it's, once it's dry, it's dry. You can't take it off. It doesn't lift off your paper like watercolor. Sometimes you can go back and lift up some of the paint out, up, but you can't with this one. And the colors are vibrant. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. I love my ink tents. Okay. I think that's enough for the, you know, the purpose of what I'm trying to do. So let's see. So if I glue all of this right here, see, that's what I meant. Oh, wow. Oh, she shines now. Do you know what I mean? That beautiful little girl just pops right up. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Love it. Oh, I hope you love it. I hope you stayed throughout these 21 minutes so far because I know I've been chatty. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, let's glue it. Don't you just love when something comes together? Yeah, I've been chatting about my South Korean uh, drama series and <laughs> vacation and password protection. <laughs> hey, you know what? You try and craft and chit chat. <laughs> it's not always easy. There's some days it just doesn't come to me. Some days I only talk about the craft I'm actually doing, but right now there's not much, you know, explaining to do. I mean, this is a creative process, so why not chit chat? Get to know you. Well, actually, you're getting to know me, but I do get to know you. Some of you are so sweet and you always leave me comments and I recognize, you know, your, your name. I recognize your name and... I, I'm always happy. It's like, oh, she sent me a message. And then I read and say, oh, yes, yes, yes. You know, like, I don't know how to say it, but I, I really just really appreciate it. It makes me feel like, you know how we get the views, right? So I know that there's 300 of you that watched my video. And then I know that there's like, 70 that liked the video and this and that I have all kinds of data but when you write a little comment even if it's just a tiny little thing it gets me to somehow have a glimpse of who you are I don't know if that makes sense but yeah yes this is lovely lovely okay so before we continue because I want to do something else with another picture that I'm probably going to put here I realize I have to put these right away um, because if I glue anything on these at least I don't know should I or should I put it underneath see I don't know it depends what I do um, I know I need this one because uh, that's the way I want it to close with those you know, so, um, hmm, I think I'll do them.
perfect yes okay that is very nice looks very nice I like it okay so I want to do something with this picture kind of how we built it there <clears throat> and I can't find the other picture my mom sent me I don't have many or maybe she doesn't have many either but I'll ask her for more um, so this there and I think I have to create something here so oh, I'm still wondering okay wait now this is this is a nice little leftover now see that looks good I could even have put that over and I might because I think it would look nice to see this okay um I had a piece of I think I don't know if it's called organza or but I like it the the white shimmer and because I find it it gives the idea of the veil you know what I mean I don't know I don't know let me see this what else could I I also had another idea oh it was with this I wanted to do something with this but something like like you'd have to bring it up to see I don't know I don't know if if it's good or I don't I don't dislike it but I also really like this or maybe just over the picture oh yeah so that way you would still see this that's not a bad idea actually okay uh where's my cutter paper cutter right here so i'm gonna cut this because i don't like the brown like it was probably a leftover of something i was doing and i have to trim it right here so i will cut off the brown there we go and then I will cut right here. Like so. Another scrap. <laughs> so many scraps being created. <laughs> okay, let me see what this would look like. So what if I do it so that in order to see the picture, you have to lift it. That's not bad. I actually kind of like it, but it's a little too long. It's not that it's too long. It's because this part here is kind of small and the picture goes here and this still needs to fold. So yeah, I have to trim the bottom. Oops, again, stuff falling on my desk. Leftover papers, projects of all kinds. There, I think this should do it. Okay, see, this, I think, works a lot better. And then have it all like this, and then you have to lift it to see the picture. I like that. So I will glue this to the back of the picture. Where is my tape? Okay. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. So, why am I having trouble making sure everything's uh, aligned and there? Okay, perfect. I wonder if I can cut the corners now that there's paper underneath. Let me see. Yeah, oh, sometimes it does that. It's okay. I like it. Let me just trim this a tiny bit. 
there that is very very nice I'd like to like put something here, but I'm not sure. Maybe just a little flower. Oh, I know what? The rub-ons. Yes, yes. Oh, that would be lovely. But also, I think these need to be sewn together. And this I will I will glue. I'll just put like Yeah, I think I will sew this. And this will be glued here. And this will go on top. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I sewed this together. I just feel this is difficult to glue, I find. Okay, and now I will just take this thing off for this circle, because I want this circle to be on top. I think it looks beautiful. Uh, okay. Okay, I will put some glue here. Now see, I think my uh, not rope thread is um, loose. I think that's what's going on here. That's why the back is so loopy. I'll have to fix that before I make things that I can't like hide because this right now don't matter, but on certain things it would really matter. So I'm going to make sure I fix it before the next project. Okay. Just like that. I think that will be lovely. Um, might have a little problem here with this. Mm. Oh, there. No problem. And there we go. There. Okay, that is really nice. I don't know if you saw all that. I'm realizing with the camera, since I've been on vacation, I haven't filmed as often. I kind of forget that, you know, zoom in, zoom out. And <laughs> I apologize in advance. I hope when I do the editing, I won't feel like I have to delete this. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I think, should it be in the middle? No, I like it on the side. Should I put something here? I wonder. I wonder. Hmm. I know I will put some glue. Now that it's sewn in, the glue would just, you know, add a tiny bit when it dries, of course. Now I have to leave my finger on it? I don't think so. Do this another time. Okay. Now, I'm hoping this will glue on that through and, you know, touch the bit. Maybe I'll put a tiny bit of glue here. Because this acts like a, um, a shield, if you will. So, it doesn't go through. Okay. This video is a lot longer than I expected, but... I think I'll have to like make another one and continue because this is turning out to be a lot of fun. Now I would need something to put some weight. Oh, this is pretty heavy. That little thing, uh, gilding wax, pretty heavy. So I think these black and white flowers are perfect for this picture. I like colors, but I don't want to hide her. So I'm feeling like this is perfect for that. So let me see. Oops, okay. You know what I mean? Like if I put a, a beautiful colored flower, I'm afraid it would hide her. I don't know. Let me see what else I have then. Um, okay. I also have this beautiful dragonfly. And this, that would be nice. Um, what else? What else? Okay, I said I didn't want any colors, but you know what? I think my second choice is better. So I will cut this. I think this would look very pretty. And dragonfly. 
let me see I think it would be nice and I don't think it will overwhelm her given that she's um, you know under this okay let me make sure that you can see so I was thinking of putting the flower here and dragonfly up there like so I think it's sweet let's try and hope it works I mean, I know it's not hiding the picture because the picture is underneath, but you know what I mean? It's still, I should have put something stronger underneath instead of her picture. I don't want it to, oh no, okay. Yeah, you still have to lift it to see the picture, clearly. But I still didn't want it to be hidden. Oops, I didn't rub long enough. Oh yeah, there you go. That is nice. And the little... I love dragonflies. Dragonflies, butterflies, anything uh, that's not gross that can't sting me or bite me. <laughs> And I did mention that is not gross. And to me, there's a few out there. June bugs are one of them. Ugh, they're terrible. Terrible. There. I think that's enough. Yes. There we go. I think that an eyelid here with a little rope would help because this is. Well, it's curling also because I've never kept it folded. So I'm guessing after a while it will stay. But I'm thinking it needs some weight. So let's say you had, I had a little border here, like um, like paper, let's say. Like, like this, let's say. I'm, I, this is not what I'm going to do. I'm just giving you an example. I have a feeling that if I had something like that, it might help it keep down like a cardstock instead of curling because then the cardstock would stop it from curling so I think that's what I'm going to do but I won't do it today because I'm gonna end this video here um, I just wanted to give you a few ideas but I'm, I will come back with other project for this booklet because as you can see I have quite a few some I'll do live and some I'll just show you once it's done uh, because that's what I've done so far. Sometimes I've crafted things and then I've just showed you after. Uh, but that's it for today. So I think this is really nice. I hope it gives you an idea of things to do. Yeah, definitely I will add a piece of cardstock so that it doesn't curl and it will help it stay flat. I think that's a good idea. And uh, well, I guess next time we will work on this thing here the bottom and find something to put here and maybe here and also here and after that her part of this album will be done so I don't think I'll be done by her birthday but I'll let her know <laughs> okay well this is it for me again thank you for um, being here today if you don't mind giving me a like, if you really liked this um, video, if you learned something, if you've enjoyed my company, um, that really helps my channel grow. Also, uh, please don't hesitate to share and comment if you have questions, if there's something you'd like me to create, or if there's something you'd like to, you know, to see me do because, you know, you'd like to, a recap on something I've done before, or you want me to do it again whatever it is please feel free to comment and ask me I read all of your comments and I reply and therefore if you do ask for something specific I will absolutely try and um, do whatever it is that you would like me to do for a video on this I give you a great big hug from here in Nova Scotia Canada I hope you're all happy healthy and safe and I say thank you for watching see you soon bye <laughs> bye bye